and I have to tell and I have to tell mum and dad and like it's a thing it and is it's been, but it's been bothering me I told you I don't I'm not judging you I don't yeah he was asking me a lot of questions about when you were pregnant and what you looked like and then and, and I'm like well I don't what do you want me to say mate I don't know anything and you know he's asking me my phone numbers and my whereabouts and this and that and and you try like I don't want to say anything that's going to make it worse for you but then I think well how can I say anything that makes it worse for you when I don't know anything anyway exactly and tomorrow's going to be a really big day for me oh it's really and shit, but yeah I, you, you need to do it yeah I, I like, do and yeah. I'm going to I'm going to yeah but I have so many worries because yeah. I worry about what's going to happen and worry I worry about, about what's going to happen to me and like I want to know that I'm, I didn't do it to, to him. I, oh, he know, he'll know that. Look, your past is your past yeah. and everyone makes mistakes or things don't go to plan. Like, look at me. I say, just don't want to see the hurt in his face and I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to hurt anymore. But I hate that I've caused so much pressure on other people. It's, and I don't, it's pressure on you. And that's why you can talk to people like me. Because we go, like, don't, like if you want to let it out, you can let it out. I know, but I'm frightened. And I, I know you're frightened. I, I don't want to lose her. Like, I'm so afraid I'm going to lose her. You're not going to lose mate. You're not going to lose Okay, and you're not going to lose your friends. And you're he not goes to me, this is my job, and I go to him, this is my f***ing life. Yeah. Like, you can go home when it's all done, and you can f***ing go, oh, I did a really good job, I worked that out. Well, you know what? F*** on you. Yeah. I know I've made the most foolish decisions, but it was so long ago. It was and a lifetime ago. The other thing is, too, like, once I tell Duncan, ah, uh, tell that's not the end of it. Like, then I've got to tell mum and dad. And you know what they're like? Why do you have to tell your mum and dad? Because he's going to speak to them. He actually said, I'll go and speak to them. I was going to go and speak to them without you even knowing. And I thought that would be the slackest, slackest thing. Yeah. Because imagine me walking in one morning, good morning, and they just go, like... Because he asked me not to tell you that I'd spoken to him. Yeah. And I said, I'm really sorry, but I can't do that. Yeah. She's my friend. Like, I haven't slept in four days, and yeah. I haven't eaten, and I haven't done anything, and I'm trying my best in front of not to be any different. Yeah. But I just, I'm going to struggle, because I know it's going to hurt him so much. Like, and just, but it, you like, know, there won't be a wedding, Katie, you know? There will be a wedding. There won't. It there will won't. be fine. It will be fine. Hell, it will be fine. Katie, when my parents find out, and like, it's, it's going to circulate. It's not going to, it's going to blow wide open. And they're going to be so embarrassed and ashamed. You don't know that that's going to happen. Oh, it is. It is. The way he's speaking to me, like, this is going to be public fodder, like, in the next few weeks or something. But he's got nothing. So how can something come out if he's got nothing? Because that's what he wants to he wants to find out what he doesn't have. Like, but he's not going to get it from anyone. I don't know what he wants. I don't know, but no one knows anything except but you. Can and you Duncan. imagine? It's like going to just hit the papers, and my parents are going to be so embarrassed. And it's going to it's going to be a disaster. And I just don't know why he if he's so gun ho about wanting something to happen. Why the didn't he do it three or four years ago before I was with and had You know what I mean? Like, yeah. went and grocery shop yesterday and bought all these things in case I'm not here to look after so he can look after her. Please don't think like that. Please don't think like that, okay? You're thinking absolute, absolute worst case times a million and it's not going to happen, okay? I feel like now in my life... I used to worry so much about wanting to be a sports star and being a, you know, achieving these wonderful things. But the only thing I'm really good at is being a mum. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I spent do. so much time worrying about all that. Other yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all okay. Right. Yeah. Getting busy? Yeah, yep, yep. So, uh... I'm going to go and try my dress on at 1.30. Oh, cool. So I just see how that's going. And, Where's that at? Um, at in the Dimmicks building.
Oh, up here in the city? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I had to talk about that. But yeah. I looked on... I just looked in the white pages. Yeah. For how many Norrises there were. Yeah. In New South Wales. Yeah. There's a total of 130 registered. Right. A Norris. Yeah. About 30. Not even. Really? 20. 10. Like, you just go through and find... You just go through and... Find. Find them, wouldn't you? Mm. Oh, f- I just went, what the f***? Yeah. Do you reckon I should start ringing them tomorrow? Nah. No. Nah. nah. Mate, I'll just get a list of all of them. Like, I've even done Metropolitan Queensland, Regional Queensland. I'll do every single state. Mm. And then look, just... Like, because you may not be registered, that's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just so frightened I can't do it by myself. You'd be right, mate. I don't know what to say, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah. You know, you've just got to try and be positive and... I don't know, yeah. You've just got to try and get through it, I guess. Whatever they say, just... You know, don't take it to heart or... You know, it's probably just, you know, their initial reaction is going to be... I don't know. No, I don't even know how to put into words, you know? Like, I just... It's just going to be so... hard to hurt someone again. Like, I've already hurt you. And that's just ripped my guts out all week, you know? Like, I've felt sick all week and... Well, don't, because I'm all right. What I did was so stupid. And to have to repeat it and talk about it constantly, it's just as bad, it's just as hurtful, you know? Yeah. And they're going to be furious, and that's their right. Like, I understand all that, but it's hard enough telling them what I did, let alone that, that they have to speak to the police about it, you know? Yep. Like, I just can't get over that hurdle. But I have no choice. You know, I have no choice, and that's how I felt 10 years ago, and that's how I feel now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, it'll actually probably be a relief once I've done it. Yeah. Because they can call me a slut or a moron or a dickhead or whatever. That That's fine, but it's just actually going in there and doing it. Yep. But I'm on my own. That's what I feel like. You're not on your own. I'm with you. I know. I just feel like because I've got no choice. Yeah. You know? You know? Like, I just feel like I'm being constantly punished. And that's my own fault, I guess. But, you know... Mate, we'll get through it, mate. I don't know that we will. Why not? I don't know. Well, don't think like that. Because I know we will, so... And the other thing is, yeah. um, I don't want to f- around when you tell Dad. Okay. I don't, I, I don't know if you're going to tell him on Sunday or Monday. Yeah, probably on Monday. Well, I'd rather f- not be around. Uh-huh. And the other thing is, you've got to be telling the absolute truth, I'm telling you, because he'll know how to find out things that you wouldn't believe. Yeah. You know, I mean, you told me that this young guy has taken the baby to raise it. Yeah. Which is really unusual, you must admit yourself. Yeah. Was his family behind him in this? Yeah. Well, how come they're not badgering them as to where the child and he is? It's, he's disappeared too, hasn't they he? They can't find them, yeah. He's gone too? Yeah. And the family know nothing? But I don't know the family. I'm not saying you know the family. What's this copper told you? That's the other thing. Did this, where did this policeman interview you? Down at Manly. At Manly Police Station? Yeah. And was there anybody else with him at the time? Yeah. And I hope you gave a coherent statement. Well, what about the father and the child? I mean, why isn't there information given to you about their end of... Like, where their, what their family says about all of this? Because they don't know where they are, Mum. That's what I've told you. Yes, I understand that. Don't get cranky with me because you know that all these questions are going to be asked. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm trying to support you, you know, and I... Yeah. My trust has been violated. Do you understand that? Yeah, I totally understand that. Right. Well, I'm trying very, very hard here to keep myself together. And I will tell you, I've told Morgan yesterday, because when he came in yesterday yeah. morning, I was distraught. Yeah. And he said, you've got to tell me, Mum. Yeah. And I did. And I just hope to God this doesn't get to a court case of any type, because his career will be down the gurgler. Hey, it will have nothing to do with him, Mum. Oh. As Morgan said, these things get around courts and he wouldn't be employable. Oh, Mum, it would have nothing to do with Morgan. So was the child still alive up until three years ago? Up until... Well, you said they first contacted you three years ago. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm under the assumption she still is now. And that he's just disappeared with the child? Yeah. Well, I just hope to God he's gone interstate or something. So he took the... When you left the hospital, he took the child home with him? On that day, yep. To his family, I assume? Yep. Because it's just so unlike a young bloke to want to raise a child. It just... That's the thing I just can't sort of grip. But obviously, that's what you agreed. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, I didn't really have too many options, you know. You could have put the child up for adoption. And I don't know if you should mention that other thing either. Mm. I think we can only cope with one thing at a time. Mm. Well, nothing's cropped up about that, has it? No. And where did all that happen and when? Mum, I don't want to talk about it all right now. All right then, well... Because okay. I don't want you to, you know, I, you know, just leave it till Monday and... All right then. Okay. Okay, dear. Well, you know I love you. Yeah, I love you. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, see you on Sunday. Yeah, see you okay, Sunday. Dad. Bye. Bye.